Beware, there is a beast on the prowl, and he only knows two commands, jump and attack. Robot Unicorn Attack for iPhone. Own the game that Touch Arcade says creates an experience that is quite honestly too awesome for words. Now, you can soar across a candy-colored landscape of dolphins and fairies anytime and anywhere you are. Is your masculinity threatened that you're not man enough to play? Robot Unicorn Attack for iPhone on the iTunes App Store. Talk to you. Uh, give me just a minute. So what's up? <sighs> Don't let this happen to you. Hello and welcome! My name is Bob, and this is Harry. We are here today to introduce to you a better way to internet. That's right, folks! We're here to introduce IPv6. For those of you that already have no idea what I'm talking about, perfect. It keeps me sounding smart and you feeling stupid. IPv6 obviously stands for the International potato vaccine. Six. No. What you mean is Internet Protocol version 6. Duh. Almost had it. Alright, so before we begin, let's talk about the current dilemma. The Internet Protocol is a very important set of rules that help make the Internet work. This set of rules is reaching its limit. So right now we're using IPv version 4. As you can see, versions 1 through 3 and 5 sucked. What we want to do is jump over version 5 and land on 6. If we do this, then we win. And here's what our self-proclaimed expert has to say about IPv6. I like it. You might be asking yourself, why do we want to make this jump to version 6? IPv4 supports roughly 4.3 billion users. But we have roughly 6.8 billion people on the planet, and every one of us obviously needs to get on the internet with our desktop, laptop, netbook, tablet, and phone at the same time. I want to apologize for that last video clip. I made the mistake of letting Harry choose it. Alright, so why is IPv6 so much better? Easy. It has a 6 in it, and 6 is bigger than 4. In addition, IPv6 supports around 340 un... un... Uh... IPv6 supports 340 undecillion user devices. That's a lot. That's right, Harry. That's more than enough for every person on the planet to have well over a trillion addresses. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's still not enough. But it's better than what we have now. Actually, that's more IP addresses than we will ever need. Ever. So, moving on. There's a lot of IP addresses available, and we need a way to distribute them. Fortunately, IPv6 is infused with magic, which does this for us. And by magic, we mean not magic. Each network device has a unique ID associated with it, and it is that ID that is used to create the address. IPv6 also provides security standard for all of its users. Yeah, shockingly, that's actually correct. So with the purchase of every IPv6 compatible device, you get a free gun. Yeah, that's protection you can trust. Where are you getting your information? Wikipedia. You can stop talking now. Actually, let's take a moment and hear a word from our sponsors. Idiot. guys there. Do you have a smartphone? We'll try this one. It's good. 
Introducing the Samsung Good Phone. It has 16 core processor and 256 kilobytes of RAM. Let me restate that. 256 kilobytes. That's a lot. And it has 10 minutes of standby use, 30 seconds of talk time. Just how good is the good phone, you ask? We brought people in off the streets to give their honest opinion about it. Isn't it supposed to turn on? This phone smells like cancer. So this phone doesn't make phone calls? Does it send texts? No! Nope. I can taste the radiation. Nope, oh, there it goes. Nope. Oh shit, it's dead. I think it just gave me a splinter. Why is this called the good phone? Biker Dude 69 just sent me a picture. You like that one? You haven't had good until you've had the good phone. Welcome back! Indeed. Let's get back to the implementation of IPv6. That's an excellent idea, Harry. The conversion to IPv6 is solely reliant on you. Buying IPv6 compliant hardware makes it easier for the transition to occur. This equipment is compatible with the current IPv4 technology through a technique called dual stacking. This works a lot like a sandwich when you're stacking ingredients on the bread. You got ham, lettuce, onions, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. You should really stop talking. Dual stacking allows both protocols to run simultaneously, so people that haven't switched to the new technology can tunnel through the internet. And end up at their destination with a spoonful of mayonnaise. No, there is no mayonnaise. Where'd you find this guy? He's not even a competent human being. Look how he's dressed. I'm out of here.